Hey, Psych2Goers. When you think of someone who is mentally strong, what traits come to mind? Calm, cool, and collected, always put together? While these are ideal traits that are often present, it isn't that black and white. And there's a lot happening behind the scenes. In order to understand what mental strength is, it would be helpful to learn what it isn't. Here are eight things mentally strong people don't do. Number one, they don't bottle their emotions. According to psychologist Leon Seltzer, hiding emotional pain comes from a place of fear. We may fear judgment, ridicule, or social rejection, but choosing to hide your emotions may lead to strong, unresolved feelings with lasting effects. Fear and mental strength have a complex relationship. People who are mentally strong work at acknowledging, accepting, and navigating through their fear. They try not to let it get in the way of life. Number two, they don't live in the past. Whether they're big or small, regrets don't escape anyone. And being remorseful is a good thing as it allows us to correct our actions. Thinking about the past in a healthy, productive way allows us to grow into our best selves. But when that thinking turns into rumination, it's easy to get consumed by them. For people that are mentally strong, they work at letting go and accepting these past situations and progressing forward. Number three, they are not easily influenced by others. Following crowds and letting others influence you indicates a weak sense of self. Those who are mentally strong are not ones to follow crowds and jump on bandwagons because they are firm in who they are. This isn't to say that people who are mentally strong don't listen and adapt to others. Instead, they understand that you should not let peer pressure drive your actions or beliefs, so they're less likely to find themselves roped into something they aren't comfortable with. They work at understanding viewpoints instead of blindly accepting them as their own. Number four, they do not let people overstep their boundaries. Setting boundaries is a crucial aspect of mental well-being. According to Jane Collingwood from Psych Central, the ability to set personal boundaries is directly related to having a high self-esteem. People who are mentally strong are aware of their own boundaries, whether that be personal, professional, emotional, or anything else. Establishing and enforcing boundaries helps your mental well-being and keeps others aware of your needs. Number five, they don't stick to their own perspective. Even though people with high levels of mental strength have a strong sense of self, they are still open-minded to other people's perspectives. In fact, they often reevaluate their ideas and beliefs. The difference is that this reevaluation is internal and based on newly acquired insights and perspectives, not peer pressure as in thinking and understanding viewpoints rather than jumping on a bandwagon. People who are mentally strong are open to new perspectives and believe that they are fuel for growth. Number six, they don't blame others for their mistakes. Accountability is key. People who are mentally strong do not play the blame game. Being mentally strong does not mean that you are perfect. So they take ownership of their actions and they recognize that their emotions, thoughts, and ideas are their own rather than trying to blame others for influencing them. They have trained themselves to focus on progress and problem solving rather than dwelling on things out of their control, such as what or who might've put them in an unfavorable situation. Number seven, they don't fixate on perfection. Contrary to popular belief, mental strength does not equal perfectionism. People who are mentally strong have a healthy view of failure and continuously learn from their mistake. However, although they are not perfectionists, they do strive to become better. The difference lies in that they strive to become better in comparison to their past selves, not better in comparison to others. They have a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. In order to grow, these individuals embrace failures and constructive criticism viewing them as lessons rather than testaments to who they are as people. And finally, number eight, they don't dread their own company. For some people, time spent alone can be difficult because it invites loneliness, obsessive thoughts, and other insecurities to come up towards the surface. To people who are mentally strong, time alone is time to reflect, 
relax, and get to know themselves better. This is different from introversion, as mentally strong people don't necessarily prefer or need time alone. It's just something they take comfort in when it happens. The most important takeaway to note is that being mentally strong is a skill that anyone can develop. Everything mentioned in the video are things that you can work on to improve your mental strength, just like how working out improves your physical strength. What are some things you can do to improve your mental strength? In what ways are you mentally strong already? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone who might benefit from it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.